Ben, you want to take a break? But when Peterson took the stand again last week, um, her biggest complaint was not being appreciated for making judicial history in Douglas County. I'm the first African-American female and Democrat. Yes. Any publications that you're aware of that ever acknowledged that fact? I was never celebrated or congratulated. Uh, the first, when, on my day of swearing in, I was sworn in by Judge Emerson. I received my first JQC complaint. Several months later. The probate Judge Christina Peterson is out of jail on bond, but facing a felony charge. The last person that ever tried me like this died 30 days later. I pray for you. Lawless wise, where I be in here with young thug? I ain't Woody. Yeah. Where in the world is this man going? I got it. I can walk on my own. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Several days later. In an 80 page decision, the Georgia Supreme Court laid out 28 counts of misconduct and 30 alleged violations for former Douglas County probate judge Christina Peterson. Those violations include improper conduct toward county officials and inappropriate use of court resources. Peterson's attorney said in part, quote, I'm pleased that we were able to provide her with a vigorous defense in court, getting numerous counts dismissed and fighting off two motions for interim suspension, even though today we lost the ultimate battle. On social media, Peterson posted, this is a setup, not justice. However, some Douglasville residents tell me she's earned her consequences, especially after the body camera footage of her arrest. Do your job the right way. 28 violation, that's a lot. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I guess we have to celebrate black history today, okay? Because we got to talk about the first black woman Democrat probate judge out in Douglas County, Georgia, who I guess officially has become the first black Democrat female probate judge to be removed by the georgia supreme court okay so we celebrate history okay because it's official it is official this woman has been removed after numerous allegations of judicial misconduct now i've covered this woman in a couple videos leading up to this video if you guys haven't seen those videos you can watch those videos for a more detailed analysis in regards to the allegations against this woman which include using the courthouse to allow people to get married even though they should have been allowed in the courthouse also on top of that there are allegations that she was using her office in order to uh solicit money donations on cash app Okay, she was using her official judge page in order to do that. She also put a woman in jail because allegedly she was upset that she had married a, a black man. Okay, this was some Asian woman that married um, a black man. And apparently she was upset to the point where she essentially threw the woman in jail for what should have been a simple clerical fix in regards to updating uh, the biological father of the woman in the system. Um so, yeah, I mean, there are all types of crazy allegations against this woman. And instead of taking personal responsibility and accountability for her actions, okay, something that, again, is clear and obvious corruption. No, no, no. When she got criticized, she tried to play the race card, of course. These communications and actions reveal a judge who publicly vilifies colleagues, is quick to threaten them with unnecessary legal action, and generally projects a spiteful and vainglorious persona. I'm the first African-American female and Democrat. Yes. I was never celebrated or congratulated. Are you kidding me? What are you, five? I'm the first female Democrat in to nobody celebrate or oh, congratulate me. Ma'am, that's not an accomplishment. I know in 2024, everybody wants to celebrate the fact that you black and you a woman and you the first. You had no control over your ethnicity and you had no control over your gender. Why do we have to celebrate that? Because it's the first. Why? If you was all that in a bag of chips, can't we just celebrate you on the basis of you're doing a great job? Yeah, but see, that's the trick. She wasn't doing a great job, right? She was doing a terrible job. And again, this is why uh, she had to pull the race card. They do this every time, every time. You know, the 
number one way to know if somebody's guilty, right, of an accusation is when they call you racist, right? When they call you racist in response, okay, to an accusation against them, that's how you know you're right, okay? You're right over the target, okay? And with this woman, yeah, uh, most certainly people were right over the target when it came to uh, the allegations against her, which is why she got removed by the state Supreme Court. The state Supreme Court issued its ruling in the case of embattled probate judge Christine Peterson. The high court ruled the Douglas County probate judge should be removed from office immediately. Fox News Kevin Stewart is in Douglas County live for us tonight with the latest Kevin. Uh, Christine voters had already voted uh, to remove Christine Peterson from office. She lost her primary earlier this year, but now the state Supreme Court says she's got to go right away. It would appear business as usual at the Douglas County Probate Office, but it's not. Judge Christina Peterson is out. Thank God something did happen. The community has been buzzing about this one. The Georgia State Supreme Court saying in its Tuesday morning ruling, quote, the judge exhibited a consistent pattern of misconduct that stemmed from willful misconduct in office. People just kind of get a big head once they get into whatever you know area they're in and they're like oh i can get away with anything they held to a high standard so you know what i'm saying they gotta they gotta do what's needed for the community the state high court decision follows a recommendation by the judicial qualification commission to remove peterson it found she violated 28 of 30 counts against her the Fox 5 I team has detailed many of the missteps including asking the public to cash app her birthday gifts on social media. Oh no, no, not a judge. She get paid too much anyway. No sir, she get paid entirely too much money to ask for some cash out. The court wow, this guy has a lot of common sense, it sounds like, okay? Because remember, this is the same woman who decided to keep all the fees that she collects as a judge, okay, from people, from the American people. She was going to keep those fees and pay herself uh, a salary with that, right? Which is something that her predecessors chose not to do or at least not to the extent that she's doing but again this woman was basically the highest paid state official i believe in georgia okay or if not the highest paid one of the highest paid okay very close i think she was getting paid more than the governor now again you know what, what i love about these stories is that they're a great example of how despite being incompetent uh, despite being somebody that, in my opinion, I think clearly was unqualified for the job, having some very emotional issues, okay, and this is probably part of the reason why she got arrested for assaulting a police officer, she still got voted in the office, right? She still found success as a so-called black woman in this country, right? She was able to get a job paying her 200 plus thousand dollars a year. Even though, even though she had all these issues, even though she was a black woman, she still was able to do it. But yet you got these people out here boohoo wanting to cry. Oh, my skin color, my genitalia is holding me back. My sexuality is holding me back. That's why I'm not successful. That's why the white man is doing better than me. Bullshit. Look at this judge. This is an incompetent black woman who still ended up getting voted into office by her peers. To be a judge. She still made it. What is your excuse? <laughs> right? I don't want to hear any excuses from these people. We're putting these idiots in office. That don't belong in office. But yet you got people. Still boohoo whining and crying about how there's not any opportunities out there. Black people can't succeed because of the white man. Well how the hell did this incompetent woman. Get into this job. Right? But see, again, it is women like this, it's people like this, they get into these jobs and then they get fired um, for being incompetent. They make black people look bad, right? It makes it so it is harder for a black person who actually is qualified and competent to get these types of jobs and positions. And that is why these types of stories are important to talk about. Because these individuals are the ones that are making black people look bad. Right. But it definitely shows you that you don't need to be the cream of the crop. Right. In order to find success in America. If this woman was just not ghetto. OK. And just had a basic level of competency when it comes to her job. She would remain in office and had been drastically overpaid. Right. Considering her position. Right. And the fact that she's clearly not that good. 
But I'm just saying that, you know, to me, in, in my opinion, this woman pissed away the opportunity of a, of a lifetime. But yet you have these same people come out here and talk about, oh, black people being held back by the white man. No, the only person that's holding you back is you, right? That's it. That's it. No, that Peterson denied a taxpayer due process by not allowing her an attorney after a discrepancy over a marriage license. Peterson's attorney, Lester Tate, told Fox 5, quote, we were able to provide her with a vigorous defense, getting numerous counts dismissed, even though we lost the ultimate battle today. There's some old sayings right about, you know, you do as a child when a child, but then you do as an adult when you get older. All right. Now, uh, Peterson was supposed to remain in office through the end of the year. Now, an interim must be appointed. It's worth noting that Valerie Ro Wa uh, Vi won her race against Peterson during the primary season. So it'll be interesting to see if she is appointed. That will be happening uh, via the judge who will make uh, at the courthouse to make that appointment. It's also worth noting that the uh, assault against a police officer, the alleged assault against a police officer that Peterson is facing, that had nothing to do with today's decision. Reporting live from Douglasville. Kevin Stewart, Fox 5 yeah, News. Major development that she has to give up her seat immediately. Kevin. Yeah, as she should. Um, but I think that the main takeaway here, once again, is please stop voting for these individuals based off identity politics. Please, for the love of God, right? Stop doing that, okay? Because if, if people actually voted based off merit, OK, how competent somebody is, how professional they are. This woman would have never been allowed in office. OK, the only reason this woman was voted in office is because apparently this is a good campaign strategy, right? The campaign on this idea that, hey, I'm the first black such and such and such. Right. And people say, oh, yeah, well, I'm going to vote for this person because I want to make history. I want to be a part of making history. Well, again, making history has consequences. OK. It has consequences out there in Dalton. It has consequences out there in Boston. It has consequences out there in Oakland, right? It has consequences uh, when it comes to the White House. Okay, I'm just saying. Making history has consequences. And I don't know how many times do people have to face the consequences of making history to understand that making history is not necessarily a good thing by definition. Okay. Especially when you vote these incompetent people into office. So let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.